James Charles is getting sued. James Charles' misery does not seem to end. A few weeks ago, he said that he would be a sister suing everyone that lied about him. He might not want to save his lawyer retainer fees because he is now being sued by a former employee. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we'll be taking a look at James Charles and how he got himself into trouble and having to go to court after an ex-employee charged him over mistreatment and other allegations. So please sit back and watch the video and right in the end to learn entire details. Before we start, I'd want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Now with that out of the way, let's jump straight into today's video. 2021 isn't going down in James' book as his best year. On top of everything that has happened to him during this year already, James is now being sued by a former employee. Now one of us thought that anything like this was coming. We never thought he would end up in a courtroom. It turns out James might not be the best employer, or at least his ex-editor or producer Kelly Rockland is alleging. Now we must remind you that all the information in this video is alleged, and it's only for one person's side. It's a legal complaint and until it goes to trial, we can't say for sure if James is actually guilty. But we can and must talk about it. Anyways, we need to talk about who this ex-employee is. She is Kelly, the literal definition of a businesswoman. As a CEO of a vegan food subscription blog called Rootly, she is a creative strategist for some pretty big name brands and has worked with a lot of huge influencers before. Today, because I feel as though I am being cornered and have to make yet another public statement. I know people are sick of these. I don't blame you. I'm not even going to bother writing out like a One of those influencers being Erica Costell. According to her LinkedIn, she was Erica's co-director and producer. We think that didn't go too well because Kelly was on to sue Erica Costell over employment complaints. It looked like she might have won the case against Erica too, because she tweeted, 1-1 one, one going 2 for 2 because I'm all about law and order. It looks like the 2 for 2 is about James Charles. Kelly recently posted a couple of cryptic tweets, which leads many to dig into what was going on. She wrote, Watching the same people who screwed me over massively end up in deep scandals isn't news to me. It's Kara McDett, which many people believe to be referring to his accusations recently directed towards a beauty influencer. There's a lot that I want to talk about and hopefully whoever wants to listen can just listen. Um, as you guys know, for the past couple of weeks, I have obviously been offline. I've been taking time away to learn, to reflect, to talk to professionals, and most importantly, to try to help better the situation that happened recently in any way that I possibly can. Screenshots shared by various commentary channels have begun revealing the details of the lawsuit in which wrongful termination is cited as the primary case type. Evidence collected by these channels also reveals that among the issues addresses include failure to pay all wages, disability discrimination. The situation that I was in is being taken advantage of and I feel as though I'm being blackmailed, which is why I wanted to film this video today. And failure to provide a reasonable accommodation. Several other elements of the case address issues regarding overtime payment and overall poor treatment of Kelly as an employee without reasonable compensation. Kelly alleged that she ended up working in two different job roles for James, which left her working 12 hours a day, seven days a week, without any overtime pay and despite being promised a raise that never came to fruition. James' former producer also claimed that she obtained a head injury, causing symptoms that she needed to go to the hospital for, meaning she was unable to work. Um, for those who are not aware, for the last two years now, I've been dealing with an ongoing lawsuit from one of my previous employees. This is something that I have never spoken about, I've never mentioned, because I wanted to keep it private out of respect for her. She claims that James told her she wasn't dedicated enough to her job and fired her after she returned from medical leave. While it seems that James Charles is a rude employer and is hard to work with. So what does James have to say about all this? According to documents online, James hasn't commented anything yet, but he seems to have denied all allegations and the case is not yet settled. We are still waiting for a trial to take place and what James has to say about the allegations against him. That wraps up today's video. We hope you liked the video and do let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.